Thank you, Lady Nami, for joining me on my coffee break. I am drinking a Coca-Cola. Do you have a drink at this time? I'm drinking water, as normal. What are your problems with Commander, if I can ask? Oh boy, this is going to be a long list. Okay, uh... So first off, even just like with the deck construction rules, I don't like 100 cards, I don't like Singleton. Well, I don't like 100 cards because partially it's hard for me to shuffle. Like, I am... It's like, I find motor skill issues uh, to the extent that, like, I get disabil to the extent that, like, I get disability accommodations for it. And so, like, even struggling a 60-card deck is a struggle for me, and a 100-card deck is just too much. I am incapable of shuffling it. So that I don't like. Uh, and also, because part of with 100 cards is then you need more cards to build a deck. Where I, I prefer formats with less cards because it's like, okay, I don't actually need as many cards to build the deck and then that also ties into the singleton which uh is yeah you can you're only allowed one copy of a given card which i don't like because sometimes you just want to play multiple copies or sometimes you have multiple copies of a card and you want to play them all and so i find those two rules combined to make it much harder to build a deck especially like if you're Trying to build a deck with a specific theme because uh, in a sixty in a deck where you can have six, where you only need sixty cards and can, can have up to four copies of any card, then you actually don't need as many card as many cards that exist in your theme for you to be, be able to build a deck with them. Where in Commander, it's like no, you actually need Wizards of the Coast to print a lot of cards that have this particular effect if you want to build a good deck with it. So. Yeah, that's my first problem. Also, I don't like the idea of building your deck around one card, especially like since they limit it to something that has to be a legendary creature. Where part of why I like magic is I can build decks around all sorts of cards or themes instead of just having to focus on one and having it restrict what cards and colors my deck is allowed to be. Uh Still on the topic of deck construction, I don't like the color identity rules, which is, uh, so the color identity of a card is determined by any colors it may have, any colored mana symbols that appear in its mana cost or text box, uh, any basic land types it may have, and any color indicators it may have. And all of the, and in the case of double face cards or flip cards or split cards, all of these include both parts of the card. Uh... Ah, sorry, words. But then this, but then there are some cards that, even though their color identity or even color may be of multiple colors, they're designed to be used in different decks. Uh, so that was a bad word. Oh, notably hybrid. So hybrid is a mechanic where a hybrid mana symbol will be one color slash another, and you can cast it for either color. So say a card that a uh, blue and red hybrid, you can use that in a deck that's blue or in a deck that's red or in a deck that's both. But because it's blue and red, its color identity is now both blue and red. So in Commander, you can only use it in a deck that is both blue and red, which defeats the purpose. And there are a lot of other cards with different mechanics that have a similar problem, where they kind of mess with the way that the colors and the mana system works to do something cool. But with the color identity rules in Commander, that takes away from that. And also, that means is because, uh, say if there's a particular theme I want to build around, and there's only one legendary creature that does it, but that legendary, but then there are a lot of cards not in that creature's colors that do the effect. Uh, a notable one I've thought of is Infect. So that's a mechanic. There's only one legendary creature that has been printed with Infect, and it is mono black. But if I want to play an Infect deck, I want access to other colors, especially in a 100 card singleton format. There, there aren't all that you. You cannot fill your deck up with that many cards with Infect, compared to if you have access to more colors or access to a smaller deck or more copies of a particular card. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, so that basically covers my problems with, like, uh, kind of the deck construction itself. Then, mm, in some ways, my problems stem not from the format itself, but how a lot of players see it. Because uh, I have run into a lot of players that claim that Commander is the only format that you can play casually, 
and every other format is by definition purely competitive which is something i don't like and that's something i'm trying to change because i don't like to play competitively i'm just here to have fun but i i found like i've tried playing commander i've tried doing different things with playing different decks playing with different people and i found nothing that works uh let's see what else oh the power level of the format because uh it's an eternal format meaning it allows cards from all of magic's history minus its ban list so there are a lot of cards and so there are a lot of decks that people build that do really powerful things things that i would argue are too powerful for casual magic but ah, sorry words uh but um, so in Commander, there is this big problem about trying to balance power level. If I just show up with a deck, I want everyone else's decks to be roughly equal power level. That way we can have, have a fair, fun game. But I found in Commander that's really hard because a lot of people, even though they say they like to play casually, still try to put the best cards in their deck, spend a lot of money on building a good deck, a really good deck. And then if I just want to build a casual deck, then it is much harder to compete. Uh, and then also the ban list. I find the ban list doesn't really do a good enough job. It feels like to have a good ban list, you need a play group needs to decide amongst themselves what kinds of cards are okay, what kinds of cards aren't okay. Because uh, notably, the rules committee that oversees Commander, one thing they've been known to do is what's called a signpost ban, where they will ban a card where if there's a certain kind of card they don't want you to use, they will just ban one of them and then say, hey, we don't like this, please don't use the rest. A notable example is they don't like the ability Annihilator, so they have ban So instead of banning all cards with that ability, they've banned one, Emrakul the Eon's Torn. But then this leads into kind of like the social aspect of Commander, where it's like, because if because in a game, if you allow player, if you say players are allowed to do something, there are going to be some players who do it. They don't care whether you don't recommend it or not. There are going to be some people who do it. And commander, I feel like there's this kind of thing of walking on eggshells when building a deck and playing to try not to upset anyone. And it's weird. Uh, where was I going with that? Ah, <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. oh. And also, this isn't really a problem with Commander itself, but just because, I guess, correlation. Uh, I prefer, I'm not fond of multiplayer games, like sometimes I am, but I don't like the social and political aspect it adds. Like, I do like the social aspect of playing with friends and being around people I like to be with and being around people who like the game. In the game itself, I don't like this political aspect, and that's a problem with multiplayer games rather than Commander games, but commander is virtually always played multiplayer and other formats are virtually always played as two player and that ties back into the problem of uh commander players saying hey commander is a fun multiplayer format but discounting every other format as bad um sorry <laughs> it just started going on a long rant speaking of the ban list um ban lists even Technically, the casual 60-card magic group I'm trying to set up has the same, kind of the same issue with a ban list. People could run complete nonsense with in casual 60-card Magic the Gathering. Yeah, and that's why, like, if you do ban any cards, like, I'm not going to be upset about it because I do support banning cards in order to make the power level lower. And if we do get this group started and going good, then one thing I would like to have a conversation with everyone about is what cards are we allowed, what cards do we want to be allowed to use, what cards do we not want to be allowed to use? Because we either need to like just have a, like a good conversation and flesh out what kinds of things we're okay with, what kinds of not, and then use that to try and make a ban list. But that also leads to kind of the problem of having to walk on eggshells when you're building your deck being like, are people okay with this? Are people not? Which is why I prefer the idea of like a strict ban list. It's like, if a card is on this ban list, you are not allowed to use it. If a card is not, you can use it and you shouldn't be shamed for it. But that does, but that does make, but it is hard to 
figure out what what makes a card deserving of being banning. So we would have to figure that out. So there are definitely difficulties, and I feel like Commander in some ways hasn't overcome that because, and like I said, like with their uh, signpost bans, so that like to me kind of says so if so if a card is on there as a signpost band and the rules committee has said with other cards like that that they don't want you playing with them but they're not going to stop you like so then if someone else plays one of those cards can i point to the signpost band on the balance and say hey you're a bad person for playing that card like because the ban list i feel like should be more about rules and so if they think um, so if the rules committee thinks a mechanic is unfun then they should ban every card from it so i do think ban lists are important but i I understand that they are something that is very hard to get right, especially in a casual format. Because if you're, because in something that's competitive, okay, yeah, it's fairly easy. If you see a type of card that's really overpowered in a lot of decks, it might be worth banning. But in casual, it's less clear. Thank you, Nami, for joining me on my coffee break. I have, I have to get back to what I was doing. And thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I can give long rants about a lot of things. You mean I should invite you back? <laughs> you could. <laughs>